was a bad day in the design department of the aircraft factory. Nothing was going right. Least of all, the building of the new plane. I can't believe how you could make such a stupid mistake. Easy, I mistook inches for centimetres and centimetres for inches. I blame the government. I blame you. You can't read a blueprint, that's your trouble. Look at that plane. Look at it. It's perfectly formed, sir. Beautifully built. Just one tiny problem. You built it the wrong size, man. It's only half the size of a jumbo jet. What are we going to do with it? London Airport have ordered a brand new passenger carrying airliner. That's what they've got. It just needs smaller passengers. The chief controller from London Airport has arrived, sir. Uh, cover it up. Oh, too late. <laughs> Good day, Chief. Uh, how nice to see you again. I've come to see my new aeroplane. Uh, you did say it would be ready and waiting for my inspection. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> What's what, Chief? That model aeroplane. <laughs> I didn't know you made titchy models. <laughs> how cute. Uh, this is your new plane, Chief. What? I ordered a Jumbo, not a Jimbo. Jimbo, that's rather good, Chief. Uh, will you uh, do the honours, my dear? Oh, uh, I name this aircraft Jimbo. God bless all the travel in her. Uh, him. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I shall be the laughing stock of the airport. Well, uh, I'm willing to reduce the price a little, uh, Chief. Half price, you mean? It's sold. Is yours. Shall we wrap it, or, or will you take it as it is? I'll have to find some very special jobs to keep him occupied. Very special indeed. Uh, shouldn't you turn left here, driver? Whoops. Sorry, Chief. Uh, I nearly missed the turning. <laughs> oh, it's a good thing I was built for flying. There's some very shoddy drivers about. Oh, this looks like a good runway. I'll get airborne. Stand by for takeoff. Help! An airplane on our motorway! Help! Meanwhile, back at the airport, Tommy Tow Truck and Amanda Baggage are preparing to meet the arrival of the new plane. Go on, have your laugh now and get it over with. It's a very small plane, isn't it? Small is right. I can't see anything. What? Good grief, it's gone. We've lost it. How can he lose a plane, Tommy? Is he having one of his funny turns? It was there when we started, right there. You'll back me up, won't you, driver? I didn't shine for it, Chief. You did. Listen, I can hear a plane coming in. Oh, I can't see it. I can hear it, but I can't... Oh, yes, I can. Oh, there it is. Look! He's a bit small for a jumbo jet, isn't it, Chief? <clears throat> uh, yes, uh, it's a new design. It's called uh, a jimbo. Uh, half the price of a big one. He might be only half the size, oh, but he's very cute, isn't he? <laughs> Do you think so? Yeah, I mean, uh, oh, yes, he is. Uh, but he'll have lots of special jobs to do. Lots of very special jobs. In that case... For someone who's fallen off the back of a lorry, he should be very good value. Fallen off the back of a lorry? <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Tommy. <laughs> Short one. <laughs> All airlines employ an auntie to look after unaccompanied children in flight. This particular auntie was starting her first day's work with a brand new airline. Hello? Uh, hello? Oh, uh, could I speak to the Chief Controller, please? Hello, that's me, my dear. Can I help? Yes, uh, I'm the new auntie. I have this party of school children booked on a special flight. Oh, yes, first-time flyers. I've got just the plane for your children, my dear. <laughs> Don't you worry your pretty little head. Once they've been around the airport once or twice, they'll be as right as rain. Hello, Jimbo? Are you awake out there? Whoops. Sorry, Chief. I'm here, ready and waiting. I should think so. Now, pay attention. I've got an auntie here with a group of school children. First-time flyers. I repeat, first-time flyers. I want you to take them up for a nice little flight around the airport. Don't worry, Chief. 
they're in good hands with me. None of your little tricks, you understand, Jimbo. No showing off. Leave it to me, Chief. There you are, my dear. All taken care of. No problems. Uh, I don't suppose you'd fancy a spot of lunch. Uh, coffee, maybe? A glass of water? No, no, children. I, I want you to be perfectly calm. I don't want you to worry or fret. So worry or fret? Who's worrying? Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Jimbo. Stand by to take on board lots of food and fizzy lemonade. Oh, dear. Do you think we should? These are all first-time flyers, you know, Chrissy. Nonsense. The best thing I know for air sickness is lots of ice cream and fizzy lemonade. Now, open up. Well, if you say so, Chrissy. Are you receiving me, Jimbo? Loud and clear, Chief. Good. Get your passengers on board and stand by for takeoff. Stand by, Auntie. Get your children into the aircraft as quickly as you can, please. Now keep your children nice and calm now. <laughs> Come on now, children. We must get aboard that nice little plane. Come on, Tommy Tow Truck. Look lively now. Get Jimbo out onto runway three. Keep your hair on, Chief. I'm doing my best. <laughs> Pull this. Pull that. Stand by, runway three. Stand by, Jimbo. Fasten your safety belts. Keep calm, children. Sit quietly now. Don't panic. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Just remember what I said, Jimbo. No showing off. Those are very delicate little people you have on board. Very delicate indeed. Kids, finish off your ice cream and lemon fizz. One more victory roll, and we're going into land. Fasten your safety belts. Hello, control. Uh, permission to land, please. Permission granted, Jimbo. Okay, kids. Just wait for Sammy Steps to arrive before you step off the plane. Good grief, Jimbo. Where did you get this mob? <laughs> they used to be first-time flyers, didn't you, children? Not anymore, Jimbo. No, not anymore. We love flying. Well, I don't think Auntie enjoyed that as much as we did, Jimbo. Why? Where is Auntie? <laughs> we think she had too much ice cream and fizz, Jimbo. <laughs> She's still on board. <laughs> oh, oh, never again. Never again. Jimbo, I want words with you. Jimbo! One misty morning, Jimbo was approaching London Airport through very heavy cloud when suddenly... Crumbs! Someone's in my corridor! Hey, old timer, you're in my corridor. I don't think you should be flying at this height, not at your age. Oh, thank goodness it's you, Jimbo. I've lost my way. My old eyes aren't what they used to be. Yeah. Where are you heading? I was in an old time air display, and I'm trying to find my way back to my airport in the Midlands. Jumping joysticks! You're miles out of your way. This lane leads to London Airport. Hello? Hello? Is that you, Jimbo? Yes. Permission to land, please, Chief. Sorry, Jimbo. We're thick with fog down here. Visibility nil. You'll have to divert to Birmingham. Oh, no. Wizard! Oh, that's where I want to go, Jimbo. You can show me the way. Take me home, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, go on then. Follow me. Not so fast, young fellow, my lad. I'm not a member of the jet set, you know. Yeah, you can say that again. He's really bumpy flying at this slow speed. Slow? I'll have you know I'm flying flat up. Hello, Birmingham. Permission to land, please. Is that your Jimbo? Sorry, old mate. We've closed our airport for the motor racing. You'll have to divert to Manchester. They're car mad down there, you know, Jimbo. Oh, this is ridiculous. Come on, follow me. 
This is the route to Manchester. Oh, it looks a bit dicey. Ceiling zero, Jimbo. Uh, look at that stop. Yeah, what terrible weather. Hello, Manchester. Permission to land, please. Is that you, Jimbo? We've had to close the airport, I'm afraid. Terrible storm blowing here. Divert to Glasgow. Glasgow? Super! I've never been to Glasgow, Jimbo. Well, it looks as if you're going there today. <laughs> Come on, follow me. This weather is getting worse and worse. Hello, Glasgow. Are you receiving me? Loud and clear, Jimbo. Don't even think of landing here. We're up to a sponge in snow. London have informed us that their fog is now clear. <laughs> Divert to London. I don't believe it. Did you hear that, old timer? Bang on. <laughs> I'd love to see London again. You know, London Bridge, old Father Tim, still rolling along. Yeah, rolling along is right. Oh, come on, follow me to London. Hello, Jimbo. I see you've got your old friend with you. <laughs> Welcome to London, old timer. The press are here. They want to take some uh, pictures. Hello, Jimbo. I hear you got lost. Good thing you had the old timer with you to show you the way. Well, of all the cheek. <laughs> Wink. Jimbo is approaching Australia after a long flight from London. He's tired and thirsty and looking forward to a good rest on a clean, cool airstrip. Hello, Melbourne. Permission to land, please. Hello there. Can you identify yourself, please? This is Jimbo from London, approaching Melbourne, Australia. Permission to land, please. Sorry, mate, you've been diverted. There's a cargo to be picked up by you in Alice Springs. You'll have to fly on. Alice Springs? Where's that? Oh, straight on over New South Wales, past Lake Eyre, over the Simpson Desert, and Bob's your uncle, Alice Springs. What a trip. My wings are tired now, Chief. I've flown all the way from the UK. What? Uh-huh. That's how we tell a Brit plane from an Oz plane, Jimbo. How's that, Chief? Well, a Brit plane goes on whining half an hour after it's landed. Get it? <laughs> Some trip this turned out to be. <laughs> I can't go on much further. I'm worn out. I must be near Alice Springs by now. I'm going down to have a look. See his dust. <coughs> the hay is getting worse. Yikes! I have to touch down. I can't see where I'm going. Yow! <coughs> Crumbs! I've done it this time. I've landed in a desert, miles from anywhere. Hey! Is there anybody about? Help! Big bird fall out of sky. I'm not a bird. I'm a plane. I know that, sport, but I saw this film once and everybody talked like that. Look, I need help. I was on my way to Alice Springs Airport. Ah, oh, it's miles away, sport. In that direction. Well, some help you turned out to be. I've got to try and take off again. <laughs> You'll never get off this bumpy surface, mate. You need an airstrip flattened like an ironing board to get out of here. You're right. I'm stuck here forever. Ah, you're not, sport. I'll get you out of here. If you'll give me a lift to Alice Springs. Of course I'll give you a lift. But how can a little fella like you flatten me a runway so that I can take off? No sweat, sport. Just a little blast on me didgeridoo, and I'll have us out of here in no time. Now for a wibble on my wobble board, and away we go. 
They're flattening out an airstrip for me. Yeah, they're as thick as bricks. <laughs> I think it's some kind of rain dance. <laughs> Strike me, it was a rain dance. Hey, quick, jump on board. I'm taking off while the going's good. Hello, Alice Springs. Permission to land, please. Hello yourself, Jimbo. Where the blazes are you been? I had to make a forced landing, but thanks to my passenger, I got airborne again. Well, come on in. We've got a cargo waiting for you. Oh, no. Not kangaroos. I'll never get off the ground with that lot on board, Chief. Look at the size of them. Of course you will, Jimbo. With the help of that fella and his wobble board. Stand by for takeoff, Ruse. Is this why they call it Alice Springs? Give my regards to Bloody Jimbo. <laughs> today was a rather special day at the airport. For today was the Chief's birthday. Hey, Jimbo, I hope you remember to send the Chief a birthday card. Yes, I got him a special April the 1st birthday card. What? You haven't said anything about him being born on April Fool's Day, have you? He'll be furious. Don't worry. I didn't even mention it. Besides, he never reads his cards. <laughs> Thank goodness for that. Hello. Stand by, everybody. I have a very special visitor today. Very special indeed. Captain Squirt, the fire chief, and his brand new firefighting engine. We are going to witness, nay, take part in, a fantastic fire prevention display. Jimbo, stand by on runway four to take a very active part in our splendid display. Very active indeed. <laughs> Jordan. Oh, great. I love special jobs, Chief. I'm on runway four, already in waiting. What do I have to do? Right. Get yourself airborne and circle the airport. I will give you permission to land when we are ready. Do I make myself clear, Jimbo? Wait for my signal. All very clear, Chief. I'm taking off now. Steady as we go. Right, uh, Captain Squirt. Uh, my airport is at your command. Hello, Freddy Firetruck. This is your captain speaking. Position yourself on runway four and aim your cannon across the runway and wait for my command. Is that clear? Aye, aye, sir. Just take it up my position, as instructed. Jimbo, come in on runway four and taxi to a halt directly in front of the fire engine. I'm coming in, Chief, as instructed. Don't worry, you can rely on me. I'll stop right in front of Freddy Firetruck. Just you watch me. Dash good chaps you have on this airport, Chief. Well disciplined. Stand by, Firetruck. Fire the cannon. On my command. All this fun and a birthday party tonight. What a smashing day. Fire! Up. Well done, fire truck. Well done indeed. Now, let's try it once more from the other side of the runway. I'll take off again, Jimbo. Exactly the same procedure as before. <laughs> off you go now. <laughs> Double chortle. Yuck. And I thought I was going to enjoy myself, and all I get is an eyeful of foam. This is a rotten job. A really rotten job. A real April Fool's Day job. I feel a real April Fool. I can hear you moaning and groaning up there, Jimbo. Do as you're told or you won't come to my birthday party. All right, all right. I'm coming in. Stand by runway four. Stand by, Freddy Firetruck. Can we at the ready? Already waiting for your instructions, Chief. Uh, let me open the window so that you can get a better eye for Captain Squirt. Stand by to fire the cannon. Mom! Missed me! <laughs> just look at the control tower. It looks just like a giant birthday cake. And with a candle sticking out the top. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm so, oh, sorry about that, Captain, but oh, some fool left the window open. <laughs> some April fool, you mean? <laughs> Happy birthday, Chief. <laughs> <laughs>
Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Just before going off on a long flight to North America, Jimbo was having one of his regular visits from the doctor, who was paying particular attention to his engines. Take another deep breath, Jimbo. This starboard engine sounds a little wheezy to me. Oh, I'm okay, Doctor. It's just a little cough I get from time to time. Nevertheless, I think this engine could do with an overhaul. Oh, come on, Doctor. I've got a flight to North America this afternoon. My engines have had a complete oil change. They're fine, honestly. Very well. But see that you report to me on your return. I want those engines looked at by the chief mechanic. I will, I will, Doctor, I promise. I'll see you as soon as I return from North America. Jimbo, have you finished with the doctor out there? I want you on runway four, ready for takeoff. Ready and waiting, Chief. Off you go, then. And don't forget, you're going the route over the North Pole. So see that you've got your woolies on. Ooh, it's cold up here. Oh, the air is so sharp, it takes your breath away. Uh, uh, <laughs> oh, dear, that doctor was right. I am a bit wheezy. <laughs> I'll lose height a bit to warmer air and get my breath back. <coughs> Gosh, my engines are playing up. I'm going to have to find a place to land and see if I can get them looked at. Oh, this looks a likely spot. Oh, dear, no sign of any life, though, let alone an airport. Whoops! Hey there, Mr Eskimo. Uh, could you give me a tow to the nearest airport? My engines are playing up. Oh, good. No airport around here. Only ice, and that's starting to break up. It's nearly springtime. Can't stop. I must mush. Mush! Oh! Who's he calling mush? Ruff! Oh dear, I'll never get airborne. Yo, what shall I do now? A whale! Help somebody! Do something! It's no good. I need a runway to get airborne. <laughs> He's done it! Well done, whale! I'm airborne! Now come on, engines! Give me full power, please! Hey, we're airborne! Hooray! Well done, engines. At last we're on our way again. Now, just keep going until we're in sight of land. Please. Hello, London Airport. Are you receiving me? Permission to land, please. Is that you, Jimbo? Where the blazes have you been? We've been very worried about you. Oh, it's a long story, Chief. I've been having engine trouble. I'm coming in for a complete check-up. Check-up? That doesn't sound like you, Jimbo, doing as you're told for once. This sounds very fishy to me. Oh, it's fishy, all right, Chief. Good thing you came to see me, Jimbo. The chief engineer found a spot of trouble in your starboard engine. He's fixed it for you now, but you could have been in real trouble over the North Pole. How right you are, Doctor. As it was, I had a whale of a time. A real high old whale of a time. <laughs> it had been a very quiet morning on the airport when suddenly the chief's voice over the tannoy system broke the silence. Jimbo, stand by to take a VIP on board. You're about to leave on a very special mission. Oh, great. I like special missions, Chief. Where am I taking this very important person to? It's top secret, Jimbo. I will give you your destination by a recorded message as soon as you are airborne. Fantastic, Chief. When do I leave? Right now. Sammy Steps, get our VIP on board, young Jimbo, and stand by for takeoff. Wait till you see what's coming aboard, Jimbo. Is it somebody special? I'll say. Here he comes now. An astronaut? God, this is a special mission. I wonder where I'm taking him. Stand by, Jimbo. 
Get yourself airborne as soon as you can, and don't forget what I said. Don't switch on my recorded message until you are clear of land. Off you go now. I'm on my way, Chief. Oh, I can't wait to hear about my special mission. Now for the recorded message. Here goes. Hello, Jimbo. This is your Chief Controller speaking. This is your recorded message. You are to switch to automatic pilot immediately. You are now programmed to fly to a secret destination where you will land at a highly secret airstrip and await further instructions. This is the end of your recorded message. Well, I've arrived. I don't know where I am, but I'm here. Hello, well, I can hear a helicopter. It's the control tower. They must have brought it all the way from London. Jimbo, are you receiving me up there? Chief? Is that you, Chief? Or is it another recorded message? It's me, a silly little jet plane, you, in the flesh, speaking to you with my very own voice from my very own control tower. Did they really fly you all this way in that control tower, Chief? Never mind about me. What you're about to see is so secret that you mustn't even tell me about it when you get back to London Airport. You can rely on me, Chief. Stand by, Mr. Astronaut. I will commence countdown from the count of ten. Ten, nine, eight... Isn't this exciting? I'm about to witness a rocket flight into space. Three, two, one. We have liftoff. Oh, hey! What's going on? We've got the wrong liftoff. Help! Stop me, somebody. I'm not qualified for space travel. Gosh! Somebody sent the control tower into space instead of the rocket. It's not fair. I've waited years to go into space, and that stupid chief of yours beats me to it. He's not even trained. <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Astronaut. Get aboard and I'll fly you home. Back to London Airport. <laughs> Hello, London Airport. Permission to land, please. Hello, is that you, Jimbo? It's Tommy Door Truck here. Can you hang on a moment? We're waiting for the control tower to land. The control tower? Hello? London? Permission to land, please. This is the first time I've had to wait for the control tower to land before me, Chief. <laughs> Come on, Chief, hurry up. I've got an astronaut on board. He's very upset. Not half as upset as I'm going to be when I get down, Chief. <laughs> well, Chief, somebody's in for a rocket, that's for sure. Jimbo! <laughs> Jimbo is approaching an airfield in Central Africa to pick up a cargo of nuts for a very famous chocolate factory. Hello, Africa. Permission to land, please. Is that you, Jimbo? Welcome to Africa, man. The coast is clear for you to land at this airport. It's nice to hear your cheerful voice again, Chief. Here I come. <laughs> Uh, this airfield is now computerized, Jimbo. It's organized by electronics. All you have to do is open up your cargo doors, and the wonder of the electronic age will do the rest. Great, Chief. Cargo doors open and ready for loading. This is the Chief Controller speaking. Get those elephants out onto the runway loading bay. Gosh, Chief. You have got your airfield organized these days. I should be up and away in no time at all. Oh, this is the modern age, Jimbo. Everything is computerized these days, even the elephants. <laughs> oh, there's a fall in the system. Fire! I see a fire. This calls for electronic computerized action. This is the chief controller speaking. Stand by for the fire drill as explained in the handbook that came with the computer. That's no good, Chief. You'll need more than a bucket of water to put that fire out. I'd better get airborne and take a look from above. 
While you are doing that, Jimbo, I will see what this computer can come up with. It is programmed for emergencies by experts. Hey, Chief! We got real trouble down here. There's a large patch of jungle on fire. It's heading straight for the airport. We must do something, and quickly. This computer is still working out a solution, Jimbo. It must have been programmed by a slow expert. I'll try putting it out by unloading my fresh water tanks, Chief. But I don't think I have enough water on board. I thought so, Chief. It's not enough water. We need a continuous supply. I've got the answer here before my eyes, Jimbo. Elephants. Elephants? Elephants, of course! Why didn't I think of that? Because you are not a computer that has been put together by experts. That's why. Come on, you two. Get aboard as quickly as you can. There's no time to lose. Stand by for takeoff, Chief. All is now loaded and ready to go. Runway clear for takeoff, Jimbo. Or should I say, Jumbo, because you are a real Jumbo now, Jimbo. <laughs> Jumbo Jet, that is a very funny joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One morning, the airfield had a special visitor who was particularly interested in hiring Jimbo to fly him to China. China? Ah, uh, yes. I am in search of a giant panda. And Jimbo is just the plane I require, just the right shape. Wake up out there, Jimbo. You're going panda hunting in China. Gosh, Chief, I'll need a lot of fuel. I'd better get Phil the fuel truck to fill me up. I will also require Jimbo to have a small alteration to his appearance, Chief. Why? How do you want him to look, Professor? Like a giant panda, of course. He is perfect for the part. Small and fat. Disguised Jimbo as a giant panda. Oh, Jordan. Oh, 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 yes, yes. I've got to see this. Yuck. I knew there'd be a catch to me getting this job. I feel like a big, soft toy dressed up like this. Yuck. How embarrassing. He's perfect for the part. A real panda will mistake him for his papa or mama. And bingo, I shall capture a very rare creature for the zoo. It looks as if you've already captured a rare creature, judging by the look of Jimbo, Professor. Oh, another chortle. <laughs> Stand by for takeoff, Jojo. <laughs> I mean, Jimbo. <laughs> the Professor is now boarding with his special panda catching equipment. <laughs> Farewell, Chief. I'll be back soon with a very rare creature for all the world to see. What a joke! Chortle, chortle, chortle! Gosh, what a flight! I'm pooped. Where are we? This is the panda's favorite hunting ground, Jimbo. First, I cook a bait of his favorite food, bamboo shoots and rice. The smell of this luscious food would entice him out of his secret hideout. Uh, listen, I can hear something coming this way. It has caught the scent of my bait. It's heading this way. Stand by, Jimbo. Got him! I've caught me a giant panda. Fantastic! <laughs> Quickly, Jimbo, get this crate on board. Th this panda must be big, 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 bigger than I thought. Quickly now, hurry before he escapes. Hello, London. Permission to land, please. 
Is that you, Chi Chi? <laughs> oh, <mate> Jimbo. <laughs> Has that Barbie professor caught himself a panda yet? <laughs> well, whatever it is, it's making a heck of a noise. It hasn't stopped bumping and banging all during the flight home. I hoot. It must be the biggest panda ever caught. It's as big as this crate. I can't wait to see it. Oh, very well. Permission to land granted, Jimbo. Come on in. Now, Chief, when I drop this hatch, stand by to see a very, very rare creature. <laughs> a dragon! A fire-breathing Chinese dragon! That's what climbed into the crate, not a panda. The professor said it was a rare creature he captured, but I didn't think it was as rare as that, Jimbo. Pandemonium, I call it, Tommy. Pandemonium. Oh, that's a good one, Jimbo. <laughs> and zoological, too. Jimbo was on one of his favourite journeys, crossing the Atlantic. He liked to spend his time spotting the different types of ships bobbing their way across that mighty ocean. That ship down there isn't making much headway. Hmm, I'd better take a closer look. It could be in trouble. Hey! Help! Can you see me? I've got engine trouble! I've lost my mast! And my radio is out! Oh, just as I thought. A ship in trouble. You think he saw us, Chief? The sea's getting very angry. You'll have to act quickly. We're sinking fast. Hello, Control. I've got a ship in distress out here. Can you take a fix on my position? Hello, Control. Do you read me? I've got a mayday out here. I hope that plane is reported our position. Things are getting desperate down here. He'll have to hurry. We can't hold out much longer. Hello, hello, mayday, mayday. Are you receiving me? We can just about hear you, Jimbo. Are you in trouble? Oh, no, it's not me, Chief. It's a boat in distress in the Atlantic. I'll give you its position and you can send the air sea rescue service. Oh, dear. Radio interference. They can't hear me. I must do something. That little boat is sinking fast. Hang on. I think that plane has everything under control. Meow. Meow. I hope you're right. If not, we're done for. <clears throat> They look desperate down there. I must do something to help them. I can't use my radio. Oh, I know. Skywriting. That's the answer. Here, yeah, look, that plane's spelling out a Mayday message. Quickly, follow its instructions. Come in, Henry Helicopter. Can you see that sky message on the horizon? I see it, Chief. I'm heading towards it at full speed. Right. Here comes the rescue team. Oh, no! The sky writing is drifting away from the sinking boat. They're heading the wrong way. I must act quickly. I see them over there. Marks the spot. I see them, Jimbo. Don't worry. We'll have them out of there in a jiffy. Great. My skywriting did the trick. I'll leave them in your safe hands, Henry. I've got some flying time to catch up. Bye, Jimbo. Thanks for everything.
chief had just received a report from head office on airport noise. He was not in a good mood. Hello, everybody. Can I have your attention, please? The Noise Abatement Society have been on to me again about the noise coming from this airport. What's he on about, Tommy? I can't hear him over all this noise. Hello, Chief. Would you mind repeating that? We can't hear you. It's too noisy. I know. That's exactly what I'm on about. We've got to cut the noise down. Well, it's him that's making all the noise, if you ask me, Tommy. Yes, you'll have those noise abatement people on to us again. Hello, London. This is the flagship calling. Permission to land, please. Tommy Tow Truck, tow Jimbo down to the workshop. The chief engineer wants to quieten his engines. Permission granted, flagship. Come in on runway four. Come on, Jimbo. Let's disappear before the flagship arrives. Talk about quietening my engines. Just listen to that. Shh. Mustn't say a word against our flagship, Jimbo. Hello, Chief Control Room, London Airport. Can I speak to the Chief Controller, please? This is he. Oh, good. I live at the bottom of Runway 4. I wish to complain about the aircraft noise in my garden. Oh, dear. I'm afraid our flagship has just landed. <laughs> she is a very large aeroplane. No, no, no. I'm not complaining about that beautiful big plane. It's that little one who keeps flying around in circles. You mean Jimbo? I, I mean, one of our lighter aircraft? I can assure you, madam, that we are seeing to his engines at this very precise moment. Hey, Chief, this engineer of yours, he's potty. Look what he's done to my engines. They're sticking out like sore thumbs. You'll have to put up with it, Jimbo. He's got people complaining. Now, now Jimbo, Jimbo, I want, I want you, to you to take, take off, off on runway right four and, and fly around the airport. airport. Quiet as you can, please. Oh, the things I have to do to keep everybody happy. Oh, it's you again. I thought you said that little plane had had its engines quietened. I can assure you it's carrying specialised anti-noise equipment. I will turn my listening device up full. Oh, you must be listening to the wrong plane. Listen to this. Yeah! But that's terrible! Leave it to me, my dear. You'll have to come in again, Jimbo. More engine mufflers. Oh, no, not again, Chief. I can hardly hear myself think I'm so muffled, Chief. Just you get airborne. I'm not having little old ladies phoning me up complaining about my aircraft. Up you go. You're at it again, aren't you? That little plane is making a terrible racket. Jimbo, are you listening to me, Jimbo? I'm listening, Chief. It's so quiet up here, I can hear the birds flapping their wings up and down. They'll flap you up and down. You haven't taken your engine wraps off, have you? No, I haven't, Chief. Honest. Strange. What's she on about, then? I'm going down to see that little old lady. I am the Chief Controller of the airport, madam. These are my credentials. Now, uh, <clears throat> this noise... It's out there, right now. It's that spotty-faced kid with his model aeroplane making all that noise. Not my airport, not my aeroplanes. Jimbo, don't stand there like a steaming pudding. Get rid of that bundle of rags and get yourself ready to take this nice little old lady for a trip around the airport. What did you say, Chief? I can't hear a word you're saying for all this airport noise. Jimbo! <laughs> A very secret and urgent message had arrived in the control room, and it was a very excited chief that switched on and turned down the volume to a whisper. Hello, Jimbo. Are you awake up there? Jimbo, wake up! What? Sorry, chief. Pay attention! I have a very special, very important and very secret mission for you to go on. Secret? Important? Gosh, chief, where am I going? It's a secret, you fool! <laughs> Oh, now, listen very carefully. Can you speak up, Chief? I... Of course I can't! <gasps> Look, I want, I want you to, to fuel, fuel up immediately. Right, Jimbo. Head north to the pole and you will see a flashing signal guiding you to an airstrip. And when you land, you will be met by a very famous person. Good luck, 
Jimbo. A famous person? God, I wonder who that'll be. Goodness, look at this weather. That must be the signal. I'll go down and have a closer look. Whoops. Well, I've arrived, but I don't see any famous person about her. Yes, I do. Oh, smashy. Oh, fantastic. Look who it is. It's Father Christmas. Hello, Jimbo. Ho, ho, ho. Welcome to the North Pole. But Santa, why are you riding a reindeer? Where's your famous sleigh? Stolen, thieved, pinched. I came out of my toy factory the other morning and there it was. Gone. That's terrible. What are you going to do? Get help. Get a lift. That's why you are here, Jimbo. That wonderful chief of yours has offered your services to help me deliver toys to children all around the world in time for Christmas. Come on, get aboard this nice little plane, quickly as you can. We have work to do. Up you go now. Ho, ho, ho. We've got a lot of countries to visit, so I'll start at the top of the list. Washington, D.C., Rio de Janeiro, Panama, Mexico... Buenos dias, Jimbo. Have you really got Santa Claus on board? Really? I certainly have, Chief. Here comes your reindeer loaded with toys. We'll pick him up again after his Christmas delivery. Bye. Adios. Ho, ho, ho! Ho, 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 ho! Guten Tag, Jimbo. Say hello to Santa Claus for me. Wunderbar! Auf Wiedersehen, Chief! Hello, Australia! Ho, ho, ho! Hello yourself, Santa. Sorry about the heat wave, Cobber, but I've got some make-believe snow down here for atmosphere. Good on you, Santa! <laughs> Hello, Jimbo. Come on in. Give our regards to Father Christmas. Uh, would you like a wee oh. nip, Santa? Oh. Ho, ho, ho! Hello, London. Permission to land, please. Our permission granted, Jimbo. Come on in. I'll put the kettle on for Santa's cocoa. Here's to you and Jimbo, Chief. Thank you for all your help. Oh, think nothing of it, Santa. <laughs> we couldn't let the children down, could we? A Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas! Ho, ho, ho! Merry Christmas, everybody! Ho, ho, ho! ho. <laughs>